Good afternoon. Welcome to Temple Builders Followers of the Way. My name is Bear, brother eagerly awaiting return, also known as Michael Barry Barnum. Been a while since I recorded one of these things, kind of like I've been out in hibernation. Uh, it's time to come out of hibernation, so I shaved off all that old winter growth that had grown up. But still kept my little tribute to the Nazarene, you know what I mean? Anyway, I'm going to talk to you today about standing. And that's what we need to be doing. Ephesians 6, 13 and following. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand, stand, therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace, above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, and take the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints, and for me that utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel for which I am an ambassador in bonds, that therein I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. Stand. I'm not talking about advancing the cause through bloodshed or violence. I'm not talking about running and hiding. I'm talking about standing. And people in America, it's time we stood. Stand on what's right. Stand for what's right and begin to stand against what is wrong. That don't mean take opposition. Just stand against it. We don't want to hear no more of it. Don't stand for any more of it to be made into law. If it's not of God, stand against it. If it's not found in black and white and red in the Bible, stand against it. In peace, in truth, in love. And then take heart, take heed to Second Chronicles 7, 14. And I'm going to turn to it real quick so I don't get it twisted in any way, shape, or form. Second Chronicles seven fourteen tells us if my people if my people that's you and I Christians, those who have accepted Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior, those who have accepted Jesus Christ as their risen King, if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves. Take away that pride, that ego, and stop being better than somebody else. Stop walking in judgment and condemnation. Humble yourself and pray. Seek God's face. Seek His kingdom. Turn away from, wicked way, from their wicked ways. He ain't talking to the sinners. He's talking to His children. He's talking to His people. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. Quit being a bunch of naysayers. Quit being a bunch of doom and gloom prophets and start standing. Stand on the Word of God. Stand on Jesus Christ. But quit whining so much and just stand. The time to run is gone. The time to try and conquer is gone. 
It's time to stand on truth and love and spread the message of Jesus Christ, which was peace. I'm not here to argue anymore. You know what I stand for? You know what I stand against? I'm not trying to lead you. I'm not trying to get you to follow me. I've told you who to follow. And that's Jesus Christ, our risen King. When He's coming back, I don't have a clue, but He's going to. And so when He does, you need to be found standing in righteousness. I love you all. It's good to be coming out of hibernation. I've had some good hunts. I've had some great family time. But now it's time to get on down to God's business. I hope to meet with y'all at least once a week from here on out. And until then, rest in the love of our God. Dwell on the Word and share it with your family. May our Father's will be done. Amen.